no, you can't put the you have to put yellow down. <laughs> Sarah and I have been foster parents for eight years. I think for us, it's like they didn't choose their beginning. And everyone always says to us, I'm so glad you're doing it. I could never do it. Yeah. And But I think if everyone said, I could never do it, then no one would be. We are that family that will just do it. My name is Ryan Centers, and this is my wife, Sarah. And we have six kids, four adopted out of foster care. So after we were foster and adopted parents for a season and our house was filling up mm -hmm. and we're like, we cannot have any more like kids in our own home. But we still very much felt called to the work. Um, so we opened up a social service agency called Ohana. We wanted to make sure that if we can't have any more kids in our home, that these kids have a family. About three years ago, uh, our family was full. Like we had five kids in our house and we were very busy. And I got a call from a caseworker, and they had this kid who um, has been in foster care for, at that time, six years. I think at this point, probably seven or eight different homes. That's a lot of picking up your stuff. The caseworker said he didn't want a family, he just needed a place till he could age out. He really um, was just scared to get hurt again. And so he moved in uh, to Ohana, and his name was Christian. And for some reason, him and I just really had a solid bond. And I remember this, there was this moment that happened. I remember sitting in his room in our group home, and he says, you know what, Ryan, I just want a, a dad who will teach me to drive and parents who will go watch my games. And I felt like the spirit in ways I have never felt before. I called Sarah I, and he said, we have to adopt Christian. There wasn't really a hesitation. Mm -mm. I mean, we knew it would be hard. So very normal things for us yeah. were triggering for him. Yeah. There were moments that he was trying to bond and attach with us and me in particular, mm -hmm. and it got too real. Then he actually ran away mm -hmm. and, um, that was hard. And that moment hearing nothing from him for months and months and months. Like, it felt like a death. Fast forward, and around Christmas time. It was like Christmas Day or the day after Christmas. He says, hey, Dad, I just want to come home. I just want to come home. And he uh, moved home and has been a different kid kid we prayed for. Um, I think going through so many different foster families, I kind of had an outlook on how foster families were. You know, I seen the worst, I seen the best, I seen, you know, on the edge of taking me and taking me out, like throwing me to another group home. I think what um, the Santa's family is more of like, they wanted me. No matter what I was going through, no matter where I was at, no matter what situation I was in, they always said, you know, we love you. And I think for me, it's like, that showed me a lot. I think for us, like this, God calls us to love. The Spirit is love, and we have to like start there. It's a big thing to love, and it takes a lot of time, and it's hard, and it's messy, but it's worth it. I have watched the other aspects of God's goodness and His Spirit come out. So I've watched Christian have peace in his life when his whole life has been unrest in turmoil, and now he just gets to be a kid. That's only from God. I think family means like loving each other no matter what someone does. I think loving is the main part of family.